Say goodbye to boring captions. Hello to captions that are gonna literally gonna stop people in their tracks. You're not gonna want to miss this. 85% of people watch videos on silent. Let that sink in. 85% of people watch videos, probably your videos as well, on silent if that work and so on. That's why it's really important that you add captions slash subtitles to your videos. So let's go. Download the captions app and you get a free, free day trial before you have to pay for it. So it's worth doing it just to test it out, make a couple of videos, import your video from your camera roll, okay? And then once you have uploaded, you're just gonna get normal captions. Now if you click on the bottom, there's a color section, all right? You can click on different colors. So the whole text will change in a certain color, all right? And if you click on style at the bottom, it's gonna give you loads of different templates you can use and it gives you a little preview if you sort of like put your cursor over it, okay? So it gives you a, like a little hint of what it's gonna look like. So as you can see, I'm just scrolling through all the different ones. It's quite a lot to be fair, so I'm quite impressed. But you know, if you click on it, it will appear on the video. So, so this is quite basic, but it still looks, you know, pretty cool and you can follow the words. Now, if you go back onto it and then you click on edit, you can change the lines. Okay, so you can have three lines, four lines, you can have one word, you can time it differently, you can change the alignment of the text. And there's just loads of different options here, like different fonts as well. There's loads of different fonts. So a lot of cool features, I think, on this. And you know you can add, add shadows. But if you click on this button, which says backdrop enabled, as you can see from the preview, got like a little square. And I find this like really is in good to keep people engaged with what you're saying. It's almost like addictive to watch it. And I've, I've done this way many times before. It's a really good way of doing it. And you can move the text anywhere you want as well. Now, you know, if you want our words to be highlighted in colors, then just click on color and then click on enabled for active word. And now the words are going to be highlighted in the color you have selected. And I know you have seen this effect many times before, and this is one of the reasons why you're watching. This. Now for extra spice, you could actually add <laughs> the blue back drop to it as well. So this is just an example of all the different themes you can have with the highlighted word. But if I click on that one, okay, the little preview there, now it's highlighted and a box. So that could be even more engaging. Now I know you're after those emojis. So what you do is you click on auto edit at the bottom and there's a little tab just says auto emojis. And it's really that easy just to add the emojis and you can change them as well but it, it really is easy to make engaging captions with the app captions so even though you have to pay for it you know it might save you a lot of time pretty cool huh now we're going to use one of my favorite apps for editing and making captions and subtitles it is CapCut, of course and check out this in-depth tutorial so this is a video I've already trimmed and edited and I've put it into so CapCut, all right? And I've just played it for a little bit to show you. And I'm gonna go back to the beginning, which is what you should do before you do your captions. And then just press that button which says auto captions. And once you press auto captions, there'll be a few different buttons like voiceover, which would have been if you're talking over like I am now. And then it will automatically do it once it has loaded up for you. Sometimes this takes a while, depending on how long the video is, but normally it does it really quick. So now we have got these captions, and as you can see, they're really small, you can't really see them, and there's quite a lot of text, which can be off-putting for people when they're watching your video. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the text itself, give it a double tap, okay? Then you click on the button which says Batch Edit. And with batch edit, you can press space, okay, and just make the sentences or lines shorter to whatever you desire. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do it like every three or four words, so it's a lot easier to read. It's up to you how long you want your sentences, but the simpler something is to read, the easier it is to understand. So now the text 
is all broken up and it's a lot easier to read. So if it's easier to read, it's easier to understand. And what you need to know is if you press on the text, okay, there's a little button which says apply to auto captions. If we leave this on, the text, no matter where you move it, you can move it at the top, you can move it at the bottom, whatever line you do, paragraph, yeah, it's going to put it in that position, the auto captions, which is kind of like what you don't want to do if you want your text to be dynamic and visually, you know, stimulating. So what you're going to have to do then is you're going to have to tick that button off, switch this off, apply to auto captions. And now what's going to happen is you can move the different sections of the captions in different areas of the screen and they'll pop up at different areas once you've pressed play, which can make some really cool effects. Now when I press play as it scrolls, it's in different parts of the screen, as you can see, even on the side. So another example of what we can do now, we've got a long block of text, a long line, we're going to chop it in half so it's like a nice block. Let's just get the spelling a bit better. And what you're going to do on this now is you can make it a bit bigger by just pushing your fingers out. And I'm just going to select a line of words here, okay, highlight them. And then you're going to click on style and then you can click on like a different color. And now it's going to separate it with a different color. And I like to put like a shadow on it, okay, just to make it pop a bit. So now the captions look a bit more better because there's got color in them. So that's how you see these creators do this you see now i'm going to add you know like a couple of emojis as well so your videos are stuck around 200 300 views so that was just an example now i'm just going to break this up a bit and separate it so there's a new line put a question mark after it so i'm just going to do the same thing i'm going to highlight it this time at the top press style and change the color and once again i'm going to add a shadow to it and you know, I'm going to add some more random emojis. It normally helps if you add emojis, which is related to what you're saying there for more impact. And now I'm just going to make this a bit bigger as well. So your videos are stuck around 200, 300 views, right? So now I know you're wondering, how do I make the font look a lot cooler? And this is what I'm going to show you. So what you're going to do is you need to download a font file from a website. And here it is, and there's loads of different fonts. I'm just going to type in here, Uni Sans, all right? Which is the main one most creators use, but there's loads of different versions. So have a browse through and find the one which you like. Then all you can do is press the download button, okay? And save it to your phone. This should save into your files. Okay? So I've reset the text, all right? But what you're going to do is you're going to click on the text like double tap, all right, and then press style. Once you press style, you're gonna press font, and then you'll see a button which says add font. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload this file you've just downloaded onto CapCut, and it will save it in a different font section. So now you can use that font. There are so many different fonts on CapCut, so just click on style and just browse through all the different types, you know, and this depends on your niche, your theme, what you're talking about, the way you're feeling at the time, your message on the video. So feel free to experiment. And, you know, even at the top, if you go all the way to the far right, okay, we have animations, but we also have text bubbles. So you can have different text bubbles, there's YouTube bubbles, so many different type of bubbles and you can have labels and you can put these anywhere you know throughout your video with your captions to make your captions have more impact and look more dynamic you can add animations and sound effects so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on animation and then just they all video browse through the one which i think will look cool i'm just going to pick a random one for this example right so your videos are stuck around to so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to make this text come in a bit later by just getting the text box and just go and write. I'm now going to add a sound effects to go on this moment where the text comes up. So I think I'm going to use this one, swish. So just plonk it on the same section. So your videos are stuck. So your videos are stuck around 200, 300 views. So as you can see, that looks and sounds a lot better. To make your text more animated in single lines is you're going to get the text and you're just going to press copy and then you cut to separate it. Press copy again and the word should double up.
Now make sure you double tap on this new section and paste the words you just copied from the previous instruction. You've got to also make sure you line up the new text with what you're saying. So once you've cut and shorted them all, make sure it's aligned perfectly. And don't forget to put underneath as well. Once you've done this, you can copy the word again and change the color and add shadows, etc. Now if I click on the text, all right, the highlighted text, and then click on animation, you'll find there's loads of different types. So have a little browse through and pick one which you think suits your theme, your message, or the way you're talking. If you press the add text button, all right, at the bottom, you can add some emojis or anything you want. And then you could just animate these and place them anywhere above the text from the side just to create more, you know, excitement about what you're saying. Have a look through and experiment with ideas because you'll find some always don't work well. But this one seemed to be okay and here is the end result. Ask me any questions in the comments. Please tell me which method you are going to try with the examples given you here and which methods you're going to completely avoid. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. Like this video if you found the information and tips I gave you valuable and helpful. And make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on the next one.